Wife is dead just months after her wedding. She was found with a suicide note next to her body. Her family thinks her husband's alleged religious cult is involved in the death. 48 Hours Troy Roberts has the story fall from grace. She was just glowing. Everything that she ever dreamed of had come true for her. Carol Lideline recalled her daughter Bethany's wedding day in August 2012 as the happiest day of her young life. My plan was to live the rest of my life with Bethany. Two months after her wedding to Tyler Deaton, she was dead. Sheriff's deputies found Bethany Deaton's body in a car with a plastic bag over her head. Detective Penny Cole of the Jackson County Sheriff's Office immediately began investigating. When I spoke with Tyler, I did not see the reaction that I expected from a newlywed at all. And it kind of made the hair on the back of my neck stand up. Detective Cole soon learned that Bethany was part of a group of devout young Christians who called themselves the community, led by her husband, Tyler. But their earnest prayer group soon evolved into something much more alarming. It became a full-blown cult and a very dangerous cult. Bose Harrington says Tyler told members what to wear, when to eat, and even controlled the romantic relationships among their group. Some of the things he was saying were, were incoherent and borderline insane. But when you're there, it's perfectly normal. You've been described as a cult leader. Okay. True? I don't think so, no. This investigation would be turned on its head with a community member confessing to the murder. Why did you come forward? Only to later recant. I don't want revenge and I don't want vengeance. I want justice and I want truth. Troy Roberts joins us from the 48 Hours newsroom. And Troy, what was it about the scene that made detectives think this was murder? Well, Mary, uh, Bethany was found with her eyes wide open, which is unusual for someone who had overdosed. Also, there were thank you notes from her wedding that she was in the process of writing, which was very, very strange. And she uh, took uh, over-the-counter uh, sleeping medication, which was also odd because she was a nurse and had access to uh, lethal drugs. So those were red flags. Troy, as far as this, this cult community that you, you spoke of in the piece, how did that play a role, do they think? Well, this cult, uh, and th there's just allegations that it is a cult, are directed at Tyler's group, not the International House of Prayer. Uh, it's very odd what they were doing. They would pray hours on end every day, believing that their prayers would help bring Jesus back. And Tyler was very, very controlling. Uh, he told the members when they could eat, uh, what they could wear, and he also controlled the romantic relationships. So it was a very controlling environment, and some suspect that may have led to suicide. Troy Roberts, thank you. And you can watch Troy Roberts' story, Fall from Grace, on 48 Hours tomorrow night, right here on CBS 2 at 10 o'clock.